What's up devs? This is my new video and in this video we're gonna talk about Engine Development Kit from Google. I already have one advanced video about this framework, but some of you asked me create a simple tutorial. So here we go. This is a simple tutorial about Engine Development Kit. If you don't know yet what is Engine Development Kit, Basically, it is a modular framework for developing and deploying AI agents. It's optimized for Gemini and Google ecosystem. However, it's model agnostic and deployment agnostic. It means you can use any LLMs or any deployment environments. And the cool stuff, it's available for Python, Go, and Java. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use it with Python. So let's get started. First of all, open a terminal window. Make sure you have Python and pip installed. Inside the terminal, use this pip command and hit enter. Some of you might see this kind of error. It means your OS controls the system Python and doesn't allow you to install Python package globally. So what we can do, we can create virtual environments by using this command, then activate it by using this command. And after that, you will be able to install Google ADK. Okay, after the installation is completed, run the adk create command to start a new agent project. After that, you need to select backend. It could be Google AI or Vertex. I'm going to use Google AI and then insert your API key for the model. In order to get API key, simply follow this link, aistudio.google.com slash API, get your key and insert it here. Keep in mind, key should be private. Don't show it to anyone. If everything is okay, you will see this folder structure. You can open VS Code or any other IDE to check the file structure and code inside. The folder contains two files, edit.py, folder with environment variables, and any.py file. So all the logic about the agent is located in agent.py file. Currently, it is a boilerplate. So this agent is using Gemini flashlight model. It has the description of the agent and a simple instruction. In order to launch the agent, go back to the terminal and then run your agent by using command adk run and the name of the project. In my instance, it is a simple agent. By using this command, you will run CLI version so you can communicate with your agent inside this terminal window. So let's try. I'm going to ask the question. For instance, what is the latest version of iPhone? And as you can see, the agent gives me a reply. It used his internal knowledge. That's why it said iPhone 15 is the latest version. So in order to fix it, we can use different tools. Probably for the tools, I will have another video. ADK framework also provides the web interface. In order to launch the web interface, use ADK web dash dash port. 8000 then open the browser enter this ip address that you see on the screen and you will see this web interface for your agent so here we can do the same thing we can ask an agent what is the latest version of iphone and agent will going to use gemini flashlight model to answer our question as you could see everything is working fine and that's probably it for this part. If you will like this kind of video and you want additional part, please let me know in the comments below and I will create the video about it. So that's probably it. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet, watch my other video about Agent Development Kit, and I hope to see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye.